Oh my god, I just started breaking down and crying. Tyler! She just looks so like a complete Barbie doll. I am the goddess of fear. and I have these beautiful, gorgeous centurions from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas because today is Top Model! Top Model! Yeah. Yeah. Because tonight is the special two-hour premiere of Cycle 12. Cycle 12 of America. announcement to make today. I want everybody to look at the women in the audience right now. Not one of them was allowed in the door of my studio if they were over 5'7". And you will find out why later in the show. But now, it's time to check out the brand new Fiercer Than Fierce Cycle 12 of America's Next Top What? creative mind of Tyra Banks, a jewel from the bankable vault. Welcome to America's Next Top Model, Cycle 12. Reverse those numbers and what you get? The lucky number 21. So we're going to Vegas, baby. Ta-da! Out of thousands of applicants, I've narrowed it down to 34 finalists. Do you think I'll win this? Uh... <laughs> and brought them to Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas to see what these goddesses are made of. But only one of them will hit the jackpot, so let it ride. <laughs> Miss Jay and Miss Paulina Parscover in the house. Come on out here, my judges. <laughs> Tired, tired, of course, you know me, flying in from Paris after Haute Couture. Oh, you did Paris shows, darling. Yes, and now Paris is finished, and now we're going to start with New York Fashion Week as of today. So, Jay, everybody has on togas, and Pauline has on this lovely dress. I have on my dress, and you have on this, this wreath of yeah, gold. they lost my luggage. Because... <laughs> We, we shot the casting episode of America's Next Top Model in Vegas at Caesars Palace. So what did you think about the whole casting in Vegas? Did you have fun? I had fun. I mean, some of the girls, I think, had a little more fun than I did. At one point, it was so hot. But, you know, as Tyra says, you got to keep pushing through. You got to push through. So <laughs> with the heat, we pushed through, and I thought it was really interesting. I mean, it was a really great change of scenery, actually. Yeah, it was a change of scenery to be in Vegas. Ooh, and the food of... chow is so good up in Vegas. Hey, yeah. But Paulina, I want to talk to you because um, I know you think that there's some surprises for Cycle 12. What was surprising well, to, to okay. you? To me, Cycle 12, because I was asked that before, and I was like, what, what's, what, what was really going on with Cycle 12? And I thought, you know what? To me, it was the most surprising top model I have been on yet, and actually one that I've seen because 
right off the bat, I was picking favorites, as I always do, you know, when you see them the first time, and I go, okay, her, her, her. And I was dead wrong every single time. This was the cycle where I was proven wrong pretty much on every first impression I made. Yeah turned upside down as the show went on. All right, well, I'm going to do a little challenge with the audience. I'm going to call it the Tyra Face Change Challenge. And the reason why we're doing this is because Paulina and I get very frustrated, as well as Miss J. We get so frustrated with our top model girls that this is the 12th cycle of top model, and they still can't get the faces right. You guys, it's just like, I'm like, okay, give me fierce face, and they're like... <laughs> So I'm going to show the audience three different expressions right now, and then they're going to have to do them. And Miss J and Pauline and I are going to decide who does them best, okay? My first expression, you guys paying attention? Yes. It's called ugly pretty, and you two play at home. Okay, so when we talk about the ugly pretty face, Paulina, we want you to make an ugly face, but not like this. <laughs> it's ugly pretty, so we want energy and expression and maybe some anger in the face, but... Understand the difference? That's ugly pretty. One, two, three, everybody give me ugly pretty right now. And I want to hear the sound effect. Yes, work, work. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, work. Okay, what are you guys thinking? Frown, frown a little bit. Do you guys have a favorite so far? I saw a girl in the front look like this. <laughs> Do your ugly pretty face oh, again. No, Wait. Do it again. No. Okay. Okay, here we go. No. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. The next one is a surprise face. It's a model surprise face. When you get surprised at a surprise party, you go, oh my god! Oh, yes. But that looks crazy. But a model surprise is more like. Okay, cover your mouth, right? One, two, three. Eyes really big and expression, expression, like, oh my God, honey, you got me this diamond ring and it's a million dollars? Okay. 119 is a mess. I, oh, 119 is a mess again? Like, yeah. like, six over there, six is, six is a very cute surprise. We're six. Take a little sex out of your surprise. It's not sex surprise. <laughs> there you go, there you go, no, very no, nice. No, it, was, it, was, it was better initially before you got scared. <laughs> now like now it looked like you had bad breath. Okay, the, <laughs> the third one is sexy virgin. I'm sexy and I'm a virgin though. <laughs> sexy virgin. Eyes are wide, lips are pouted softly. Eyes are wide, lips are pouted. Sexy virgin, sexy virgin. Paulina? I just love that girl with the long straight bangs. Um, you, yeah. right there, yeah. Do you. Do it, do Number sexy 15. virgin. Oh, nice. Sexy Very nice. virgin? That looked like sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who do you guys think did the best? Who do you think did the best? Number 91, give me ugly pretty right now. One. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, give me sexy virgin. Sexy virgin. And give me surprise. Give me surprise. Oh, Bring your butt up here, girl. <laughs> an amazing job. What's your name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn? We have oh, a Jocelyn, Jocelyn on top model. I know, but I yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, she did an amazing job, so mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this. Oh, it is an 8.0 megapixel digital camera, so you can oh, practice your expressions and take pictures of you. All right? And I actually lost my digital camera, so we need to find it. Work it out. We'll be right back. Surprise for my audience. Now, we all know that America's Next Top Model has been around for what now? We're going on 12 cycles. And it's been 12 cycles of very tall girls. But I've got a secret for girls that are 5'7 and under for the next cycle of America's Next Top Model. This is big. This is huge. Maybe the surprise is for you, too. for America's Next Top Model Cycle 12, which starts tonight at 8 p.m. on The CW. Now, I'm about to do something that I have never done before. Casting for Top Model is always, like, super, super secretive. I keep it really secretive. You never see any of the finalists until the premiere. But I'm going to introduce you to someone you're going to see on tonight's episode. And it's up to you to figure out if she makes it all the way into the Top Model house or not. 
Okay, so we whittled down the number of girls from thousands and thousands to 34. And Anjali is one of those 34. So how many times have you tried out for Top Model? Tyra, girl, I've tried out five times. Girl, I've been stalking you, like, I've tried <laughs> out. I've been planes and buses in the cities I've never been before because I wanted this opportunity. I wanted to be a top model. This is something that I've wanted since I was nine years old. Wow. Were you nine, nine. years old when Top Model was on? No, no, no. I was about to say. <laughs> Woo, child I'm old. Okay. So this season, you really, like, made a serious commitment. You came to New York, didn't yes. have any money. Tell us about that. Yes. I went to New York. I had $40 in my pocket. I didn't have any place to stay. I stayed at the Port Authority, the bus terminal. I slept in the stalls. Wait, you slept in the you slept mm, in the stall. I slept in the bathroom stall. Like I put toilet paper on the bath on the bath um, public bathroom. Yeah, on the public bathroom, mm -hmm. and I like slept upright like this. Like it was it was crazy. You're a young lady. How old are you again? Twenty two. Twenty two years old, sleeping by yourself in a bus terminal after hours. Yes. You know, you guys remember that movie with Will Smith, Pursuit of Happiness? Yes. Yes. And do you remember when he did that scene with his son and he's crying and holding his son? That's what Angeli did. That is amazing and that shows dedication. It's not safe. And I don't recommend that, but it does show like how dedicated you are to this. So tell me about the competition between you and the other girls like during casting. How how was that at first? It was fun. It was crazy. I feel like the girls thought and when they first looked at me that I wasn't competition. I thought they saw me as this ghetto, this hood girl. Oh, she's not competition. You know, oh, look at her. Look at her ponytail. Look at her nails. She's no competition at all. But they started to see when I would wear my hair back looking like a model, they were like, oh, wow, wait a minute. She's, she's someone to watch for. Mm -hmm. She's, we better watch out for this But you this have girl. really good bone structure, especially when your hair is slicked back and a ponytail, so I can see them probably being a little intimidated. Well, things heated up very quickly between Anjali and one of our other girls. Check this out. Big face. Who are you rolling your eyes at? Do you have an eye problem? Me too. Why are you smiling? Me too, because I can. Why are you smiling? Because I can. Sandra looked at me. She, uh, now you want to roll your eyes? Like, you know, like, don't get me started. Long nail. You don't have any what? class what? whatsoever. So, you therefore, I have one no one time one. for oh. you. Oh. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what she needs. So you guys are at that photo shoot and then like going through it and you guys weren't even in the house yet. So tell me what, what was going on to make you guys like almost like come to blows. Um, well, me and Sandra, we had our little our little differences actually before the photo shoot. And Sandra portrays herself to be in front of you. She portrays herself to be sweet and innocent and kind. But I saw a girl that was mean, that was aggressive, and I didn't like that. So I spoke up about it, and I think she didn't like that. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was being real with her mm -hmm. about it. Anjali seems to have gone through some really tough times and a lot in her life, and she shared some of that during the show. Check this out. Courtney asked me, do you have kids? I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I have, I have a daughter, you know. Um, she passed away. Uh, it hurt. It was like when she passed away, you know, I held her in my arms. She had a seizure. It wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, it's, it's, you know, when they tell you your daughter gonna die, it's, it's, e it's easier said than done to just sit up there and, you know, cut, like, cut off life support. Come from the hood, I come from the ghetto. I am nervous about elimination. I just don't want to go back to Buffalo. It's nothing near for me, you know? It's nothing near for me. Everything that I have is here. What I love about Top Model is that the show, and the reason why I created it, Angel Angelia, is because, you know, people used to look at models as not having stories, like unsympathetic women that just were these airheads. But you have a serious story, and it really, really touched me. And I want you guys to uh, watch Top Model tonight, and then why don't you have a little guess and check with your friends to see, is she going to make it into the Top Model house? There's only one way to find out. Watch the two-hour premiere of Cycle 12 starting tonight at 8 p.m. on The CW. And give me a hug. You look so pretty. We'll be right back. Tonight is the night for all you 
top model fans because Cycle 12 kicks off at 8 p.m. on the CW. And you're not going to believe what happened. Some good stuff. I'm having a toga party with an audience full of top model fans. And four of them say that they are the biggest fans in history. Stand up, my biggest fans in history. <laughs> so, Morgan, you... You guys are in a sorority, right? Yeah. So tell me how you do, like, your top model stuff okay. when you watch. Um, every week we watch the episodes. We've never missed one. And we get up in our craziest top model outfits. And we do walk-offs during the episode. And I, I would like to say I'm the fiercest. Are you the fiercest? Yes. Work it out. And then um, you said, Lindsay, that when you were pledging the sorority, you created a game. What game did yes. you create? We created the top model game. And all our friends would sit as, pan as a panel of judges. And we'd have two girls pretend to be the models. And I would pretend to be you, Tyra. Oh, you were? Yes. Did you get and me I, down? Yes, I handed out the pictures and announced the winner. How do you do it? You have now become America's next top model. Work it out. <laughs> okay, and then Lizzie, you say that you have a certain favorite part of America's Next Top Model. Yeah, actually, my favorite part is behind the scenes, and I actually love when you do the photo shoots and you become the photographer. Oh, when I take pictures of the girls. Yeah, and I actually took a photography class and used do our Vaseline technique when I took oh. pictures of all my friends. All right, and then Catherine, you say that you've always wanted to be a model. Yeah, I've always wanted to be a model, but I'm only 5'3", so it was never a reality for me, so watching top models the closest I'll get. It just right. gets us through the work week and yeah. All right, we'll check out the ladies at their top model viewing pote. Mm. Welcome to our ANTM party. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. We have these every week to escape from our stresses of the college. Oh. game called Who's Smarter Than a Top Model? <laughs> and we can't really play the game without top models, so to play against you guys, we have Samantha, Jocelyn, and Annalie from Cycle 11, and Brie from Cycle 5. Okay. Okay, ladies. Are you guys ready to kick some butt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you go down. <laughs> Okay, you guys have got your buzzers. Everybody's got their buzzers in their hands. Yeah. Okay, they say d models are stupid, so y'all better make me feel good right now, okay? Um, I don't think you guys are dumb. Okay, I'm going to ask some questions, and whoever knows the answer must hit the buzzer first, and the team who answers the most questions will win an amazing prize. Okay, let's start. The first question is, who is the youngest winner in top model? <laughs> you know already? The youngest winner in... Uh, I'm not even going to finish the... Who? Nicole. Yeah! Yes. 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 Nicole Lee Petter is the youngest model to win okay. on America's Next Top Model. She won cycle five. Good for you. Well, Dang, you well. for real. Okay, next question is, what famous designer, no matter the theme of his collection, sends a red dress down the runway every single season? Valentino. Valentino is You guys jealous that she got that one right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know the answer to that. Okay. Here's the next question. What cooking ingredient melts pearls? Cooking ingredient. Samantha, you know that? What is it? No. Vinegar. <laughs> she is correct. baby. <laughs> okay, I knew the answer to that one. Okay, here's the last question. Name all of the past top model winners in order. You got it, Lizzie? I think we have it. Okay. Okay. Adrian, mm -hmm. Joanna, mm -hmm. Eva, Eva, Naima, Naima, Naima mm -hmm. Nicole, Danielle, Danielle mm -hmm. Carrie Dane, mm -hmm. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god. Whitney? No, no. not Whitney. Oh, Oh, Jess, Felicia, Felicia yeah. Whitney, Whitney yeah. McKay. McKay. So, it's a tie. It is a tie, and I don't know.
know what to do with a tie because we didn't uh, know that there was going to be one. I thought somebody was going to win. So I'm just going to have you guys win just because these girls are right America's Next Top Model. Okay? So I'm going to be that um, you guys live in a sorority house. So I'm going to give you a 46-inch flat-screen TV so you can watch it. America's Next Top Model, Cycle 12, which starts tonight at 8 p.m. on The CW. Now, every week I take questions after we tape The Tyra Show. A lot of people don't see it on TV. We put it on the website, but it's something I just kind of do after the show. I spend time with the studio audience. And by far, the one question that I hear the most, more than any question, is this one. How come you don't have America's Next Top Model for people 5'5 five, five and below? Am I too short for top model? Don't you have to be six foot tall? I told you you gotta be to be on America's Next Top Model. How come there's no America's Next Top Petite Model? I was wondering why you want diversity and race and what everybody's used to, but you won't take a shorter girl. What do you think about women or ladies who are not 5'9", who are not 6'1"? I'm really short. I just, like, I really wanted to get into, like, some type of modeling. Would it ever be like America's short top model? <laughs> Did we do it on the tire show before? We didn't do short top model, huh? We should. Okay. Well, I said earlier in the show that I have a big announcement to make, and this is it. Every one of the ladies in the audience today is five, seven, and under, and some are way under. Some are five feet tall. Some are four, ten. Well, guess what, ladies? You are all here for a casting call for the very first cycle of America's Next Top Model that's going to be... tonight. It's not short girls, okay? <laughs> very, very interesting girls and one of my favorite cycles ever. But you guys today are auditioning for cycle 13, which is... <laughs> America's Next Top Model, Michelle Mock, has been watching every single one of you guys throughout this show. Wow. Because she's looking for ladies that could be America's Next Top first short model for Cycle 13. <laughs> girls in the audience and the girls at home that can possibly be America's Next Top Model and not, and they don't have to be super tall for cycle 13, that we fought our butts off to make this happen. Oh my gosh, like, you so did. You don't understand, I was rallying, because I, you know, people think, oh, Tyra's the boss. I have bosses too that I have to convince. <laughs> and I convinced my boss. She said, Tyra, if you believe in this, it can happen. And I said, you know, I stand for different races and different body types. And I was like, body types is also height. It's yeah. not just weight. So you guys are going to have a chance to be American. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, we got one girl crying. Who's crying? I just saw her. Where is she? Tell me why you're crying. Tyra. Last year, you made me over. 
Oh, yeah, I remember you. And you changed my life. Oh, I used to wear tall tees, baggy jeans, didn't know how to walk in heels. I'm here in New York today, and you just... <laughs> she was a makeover on the Tyra show. She was amazing. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. And I love that haircut. All right. <laughs> so, Michelle, you, she does the castings, and she gets all kind of crazy girls coming to castings. Tell us what are some of the craziest things that you've seen with girls coming in for casting. Well, you know, they all come in, and they're all excited. But I think one of the craziest times was that we had a girl with the Victoria's Secret's wings. <laughs> she and, came in with wings? Yes, but that was it. I mean, she came oh almost God. naked. She we, might be in this room. <laughs> but, yeah, and she walked in, she dropped the robe, and that was it. Oh, Lord. And see, Michelle kind of screams him a little bit, so I didn't get to see her. <laughs> and tell me about the girl that you said no to her, and she said, oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. So, they, <laughs> you guys all know this. She waited in line forever. We said no. She went back out, changed her hairstyle, a wig, the whole thing and came back in line after about another five hours. Are you serious? And she did the whole thing all over again. The application, everything. The everything, all over different again. name, different wig. Different everything. And, she, and the sad thing was she stood in the exact same place where she was the first time around. Oh. So, Miss J and Paulina have been looking at the girls in the audience, looking for some, you know, potential. And Michelle, I know that you have been looking in the audience to see who you think could mm -hmm. be in the cast for America's Next Top Model Cycle 13 to be a semi-finalist, possibly, or semi-semi-finalist. <laughs> and after the break, we're gonna let you know who those girls are. It's five girls. Well, we're celebrating the premiere tonight of Cycle 12 of America's Next Top Model. Two-hour premiere, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. tonight on The CW. But right now, we're casting for next cycle of America's Next Top Model, cycle 13. That's going to be the very first petite top model competition for girls. <laughs> okay. So, my casting director, Michelle Mock, she's been casting top models since cycle one. Um, she has seen some girls that she likes. So, I want you to call up the girls that have caught your eye by number. First girl is number... 55. 55! 55! Hi! Come on over here, stand right there. Hello! Who's the next girl? 15. Find 15! Miss J is helping you out. <laughs> and that's very rare. <laughs> okay, Paulina's gonna help too. The next girl, number? 141. 141! Where's 141? Wow. I like your tattoos. Okay, that's three girls. We have two more spots. Who's it gonna be? 113. 113! Okay, and the very last spot. 58. 58. Hi. Okay, ladies, how do you guys feel? How do you feel? I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, you? I can't believe it. Can't believe it, you? I feel really good. Really good, you? This is amazing. And you? I'm excited. Okay. I'm like so excited to be oh, here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> So I'm like the shortest one here, and I'm like, I'm really excited to be here and to be in this competition. You, you don't know. You look like such a cute little petite model, Mr. Honey, I know. You, it's not just about being short, you're also too old, sorry. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Miss J speechless for the first time. I'm gonna have to cut okay. you off. So now challenge. You guys just can't get called up here. You're going to have to do something and prove yourselves. The first challenge is you are going to have to get your photo taken. 
okay? But we're in New York City, and your photo is representing New York City traffic. So we're going to show you a picture of New York City traffic, and then you have to emulate that and what that means to you in a photo. You're going to do a full body shot and then a close beauty shot. Are you ready? Okay, so girls, come on over. Ready, come on over here. And we're going to start with you, number 55. Take the stage. Photographer Michael Lacassano will be taking your pictures. He does a lot of pictures on the Tyra Show. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's show her her traffic inspiration of New York City. Do you see that? So that's a highway with cars going and coming. There's red, there's white lights. What are you feeling and how do you see that? Look at the curve in the road, though. Look at that curve in the road. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. And give us a beauty shot. Come close. And beauty. Face, 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 face. Relax. Don't smile, don't smile, don't smile. Top models, don't smile, don't smile. There we go. Okay, next. Come on over, number 15. Your traffic is that you have to emulate your New York City traffic. Oh my God, this is a retro look. It looks like it's a, it's a traffic jam, but they're all going the same direction it looks like. What does that mean to you? Get it, get it. Yes, work, work, yes, yes. Okay, nice, she's like, she's in a jam. She's in a jam, she's giving us face, but no eyes. Let me see the eyes, yeah, hold it, hold it. Okay, we got your beauty shot too. Great, fantastic. Okay, you're next, number 141. Show us her traffic in New York City. Oh, Times Square, everybody's going, not coming. Do you see that? That's red lights representing going, not coming. What does that mean to you? And go. Work the tattoos, I wanna see that arm, I wanna see that arm work it because that makes you special and different. Hold it, hold it, and nice. Okay, I don't know what that had to do with Times Square, but anyway, that was great! <laughs> okay, number 113. Your traffic is, woo, it looks like there's some motion in the middle. And then there's some stopping on the left and right of that picture of the top and bottom. So do you see that motion? How can you create that motion? Work it, work it, work it. Somebody dances. That, that hand is too uh, front. Yeah, 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 put it to the back. There you go. Nice, don't smile, don't smile. We can't see your future, so you smile. Relax, 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 and give us a beauty shot. And relax your face and give us a beauty shot. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and great. Thank you very much. And next. Let's see your traffic picture. Uh-oh, this is just, a, I don't know what the hell that is. That's very octopus to me. What does that represent to you? Okay, and then do it. Yeah, okay. Nice, why is everybody going to sex? Uh. 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 Okay, and your beauty shot. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so you've seen our pictures. When we come back, we're going to announce the three finalists that are going to get the golden ticket. We'll be right back. <laughs> Top Model is all about the unexpected twists and turns. You know you guys watch the show and you're like, dang, they did that? We're about to do that right now. Miss J has been whispering to me during the commercial as well as Michelle Mock and Paulina. And Miss J has decided that what? <laughs> Uh, uh, oh. I mean, there are some girls that I saw when I came through here earlier, and I spooked, and I thought that you could become America's next petite model, but unfortunately, I have to leave because I got work to do, which helps you, but my choice is several. Okay. 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 Got it. Love to you all. Good luck. See you, girls. All the long way. this mix of five so your competition gets harder because there will only be three finalists you got it so I know you're clapping like yay but you're like wait no not yay <laughs> okay so there. the first name is I'm sorry the first number is number 93 <laughs> 93 come on up 93 let's get over what's your name Kiana, Kiana. Yeah. congratulations number 125 one, two, five. Yeah. Top model's all about a story, and we like girls with personality and your emotion earlier and your great look. We like that. Okay, number five. Where's number five? Oh. That was pretty 
your cheekbones. Okay, number 91. Where's number 91? <laughs> Yay, number 91. Okay, and 72. Where's 72? Up here, my Asian sister. Okay, number 67. Where's number 67? Yeah, number 67. Come on over here, number 67. And I see somebody that looks like Ethiopia. You're not on my list, but number 42, I think I love your big forehead. Come on up here, girl. Three finalists. So I need everybody to smile with their eyes right now. Wow. Smile with their eyes. Smile with their eyes. Smile with their eyes. Smile. Smile. Go. 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 Smile with their eyes. 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 Okay, I got my three. You guys got your three? Uh, 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 hang on, just one sec. Smile with your eyes. Smile with your eyes. Smile with your eyes. Okay. Actually, I got more than three, but oh, oh, only three. Only three. Only three. Only three, okay, three places. Three. Okay. Okay, so the first finalist to receive a golden ticket that is going to be a VIP, have a VIP meeting with Michelle Mock and could possibly be America's next top model is number 72. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are so welcome. Stand next to Paulina. Okay, the next girl that is a finalist that is going to have a private meeting with Michelle Mock is number 125. I want it. <laughs> You're so oh, welcome. Here's your ticket. I want the ticket. Here's your ticket. OK. I have one golden ticket in my hand. One. One left. Gosh, this is hard. The last finalist for cycle 13. Okay, and Paulina just whispered her number in my ear. You will be the last finalist to meet with Michelle Mock privately, personal VIP priority screening. And I've already seen you. So that's a big step ahead of the other girls. The final girl is, per Paulina Porskova, number 113. It doesn't mean that you guys can't go. You just got to stand in line for 10 hours. Sorry, but you can still go to casting. And you can go to casting, too. If you're 5'7 or below, you can be 4'10. You can be 5'3. It doesn't matter. Just below 5'7 five, seven, five, seven or below, you could possibly be America's Next Top Model. Go to tyrashow.com to see how you can apply. And we'll be right back. We want energy and expression and maybe some anger in the face, but... You understand the difference? That's ugly pretty. One, two, three, everybody give me ugly pretty right now. And I want to hear the sound effect. Yes, work, work. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, work. Okay, yeah, what are you guys thinking? Fr frown a little bit. Do you guys have a favorite so far? I saw a girl in the front look like this. <laughs> Wait, who? 119, do your ugly pretty face oh, again. No. Wait. Again. No. Okay. Okay, here we go. No! <laughs> okay, here's the next one. The next one is a surprise face. It's a model surprise face. When you get surprised at a surprise party, you go, oh my god! Oh, yeah. But that looks crazy. But a model surprise is more like, Okay, cover your mouth, right? One, two, three. Eyes really big and expression. Expression, like, oh my God, honey, you got me this diamond ring and it's a million dollars? Okay. 119 is a mess. I, oh, 119 is a mess oh, again? A mess. Like, six over there. Six is six in a very cute surprise. We're six. Take a little sex out of your surprise. It's not a sex surprise. There you go. There you go. No, very no, nice. No, it, was, it, was, it was better initially before you got scared. <laughs> Ooh, and the food chow is so good up in there. Yes! 
But Paulina, I want to talk to you because um, I know you think that there's some surprises for Cycle 12. What was surprising well, to, to okay. you? To me, Cycle 12, because I was asked that before, and I was like, what, what's, what, what was really going on with Cycle 12? And I thought, you know what? To me, it was the most surprising top model I have been on yet, and actually one that I've seen because right off the bat, I was picking favorites, as I always do, you know, when you see them the first time, and I go, okay, her, her, her. And I was dead wrong every single time. This was the cycle where I was proven wrong pretty much on every first impression I made. Yeah turned upside down as the show went on. All right, well, I'm going to do a little challenge with the audience. I'm going to call it the Tyra Face Change Challenge. And the reason why we're doing this is because Paulina and I get very frustrated, as well as Miss J. We get so frustrated with our top model girls that this is the 12th cycle of top model, and they still can't get the faces right. You guys, it's just like, I'm like, okay, give me fierce face, and they're like... <laughs> So I'm going to show the audience three different expressions right now, and then they're going to have to do them. And Miss J and Pauline and I are going to decide who does them best, okay? My first expression, you guys paying attention? Yeah. It's called ugly pretty, and you two play at home. Okay, so when we talk about the ugly pretty face, Paulina, we want you to make an ugly face, but not like this. <laughs> it's ugly pretty, so. Oh my God, I just started breaking down crying. She just looks so like a complete Barbie doll. I am the goddess of fear. these beautiful gorgeous centurions from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas because today is top model top <laughs> party. because tonight is the special two-hour premiere of cycle 12 cycle 12 of America <laughs> announcement to make today. I want everybody to look at the women in the audience right now. Not one of them was allowed in the door of my studio if they were over 5'7". And you will find out why later in the show. But now it's time to check out the brand new Fiercer Than Fierce Cycle 12 of America's next top what? Creative mind of Tyra Banks, a jewel from the bankable vault. Welcome to America's next top model, Cycle 12. Reverse those numbers and what do you get? The lucky number 21. So we're going to Vegas, baby. Out of thousands of applicants, I've narrowed it down to 34 finalists. Do you think I'll win this? Uh, <laughs> and brought them to Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas to see what these goddesses are made of. But only one of them will hit the jackpot, so let it ride. <laughs> Miss Jay and Miss Paulina Parsover in the house. Come on out here, my judges. <laughs>
lovelies. Oh, well, man. I am tired, tired, tired. Of course, you know me, flying in from Paris after Hood Couture. Oh, you did Paris shows, darling. Yes, and now Paris is finished, and now we're going to start with New York Fashion Week as of today. <laughs> so, Jay, everybody has on togas, and Pauline has on this lovely dress. I have on my dress, and you have on this, this wreath of yeah, gold. Yeah, they lost my luggage. Because... You know. <laughs> We, we shot the casting episode of America's Next Top Model in Vegas at Caesars Palace. So what did you think about the whole casting in Vegas? Did you have fun? I had fun. I mean, some of the girls, I think, had a little more fun than I did. At one point, it was so hot. But, you know, as Tyra says, you got to keep pushing through. You got to push through. So <laughs> with the heat, we pushed through. And I thought it was really interesting. I mean, it was a really great change of scenery, actually. Yeah, it was a change of scenery to be in Vegas.